that. Yes. Our next guest is a mother whose mission is to bring happiness to people who lost their children at a young age. Carol Mack lost her son TJ when he was still a toddler. TJ was born with a critical illness. Carol shares how she has uh, shared with us how she has coped with knowing that her child would not live long and also explains what she's doing to help others. Carol, it is so great to have you back here on Great Day Washington. Last time you were talking wine, but now you've got <laughs> this inspirational new book. Congratulations, The Gift of the Ladybug. Where did this story come from? So this one's, this one's a deep one. It mm. came, it started about 12 years ago and it has to do with my late son, TJ. So 12 years ago, I had this healthy baby boy, so I thought, and in about four months in, he just didn't quite have the head control. And we started learning, yeah, something's wrong here. And eventually we got into the Cleveland Clinic. And within 20 minutes of a specialist seeing us, the doctor says, your son, he's probably not gonna see his second birthday. Oh. So that was like, you know, the worst day of my life, the worst moment of my life. And I thought, I, how can I possibly live through this? Like, I can't, I can't not do this. And I can remember driving in the passenger seat of the car on the way home from that appointment. And I was like, like in this panic pain, right? Like I just know. And I remember this flash, it was like this divine inspiration and it came right to me. And it was just as my family was standing in a white hospital room, there were these like cartoon horses standing in a circle in a white room. TJ, my son was there and he was a ladybug in this flash in my head. And TJ was looking at me and he's like, what's wrong? Like genuinely confused. Like, why are you guys crying? We were crying because we just learned he was living a really short life. And he's like, I don't understand. See, I'm a ladybug. You guys are horses and I only know how to be a ladybug. And so essentially he was teaching me, and this is what his actually eyes and demeanor on a day-to-day -day basis were like, mom, I'm okay. I know this is hard. We got this. And so it was this just like profound metaphor. And it brought me such relief in that moment. I was like, this is how we're going to do it. We can get through this. Like no. he's perfect. If I love TJ, I love all of TJ, including the sickness, including the short life. Right. And yeah, so I got home and I wrote the book in like an hour and a half, found it, gave it to him for Christmas, read it to him oh, over wow. and over. And then we published it to honor other children with critical illness and uh, tell people they're not alone. Uh, to find that kind of peace when everything in your life was just like turned over and you're in all this turmoil, how did you do that? Can you give advice to someone else who might be facing mm -hmm. that same situation? You know, I, I honestly think this was kind of a divine, and I also think it was TJ, like, coming to my rescue, honestly. Mm -hmm. And for other parents, you know, this is universal as, as far as I can tell, because this book's been out for 10 years. We're re-releasing it today or now. And um, all these other parents say the same thing about their children, that their children are leading them in how to handle this really hard situation with peace and power. And so this 14 month, my 14 month old son that wasn't even speaking taught me how to live. And I feel like all critically ill children have that just honor, beautiful, heroic quality. And so they're the ones that lead us. What is the symbolism? I mean, there's a national, the gift of ladybug mm -hmm. day. You have your book, the gift of, what is the symbolism of the ladybug and, and having you know, a national day celebrating? So the symbolism is that it's a being that's perfect. He's perfect. And he's a day. Um, he's <laughs> perfect exactly as he is. And the symbolism, symbolism is we are all perfect exactly as we are. So if you have polka dots, if we have white skin, if we have not white skin, if sexual orientation, sick or well, young or old, we are all perfect exactly as we are. So it's a symbolism of really accepting yourself, um, you know, differences and all. And in this right. particular case, it's children, ladybugs kind of represent uh, children with critical illness yeah. uh, and the heroes that they are. Oh. Carol, thank you so much for sharing your story and sharing TJ's story yeah. as well. We appreciate you coming on. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Now, some of the proceeds of the book are donated to help children who have critical illness. That's right. So far, they have raised over $30,000 to the United Mitochondrial Disease Foundation, and you can find the book on Amazon.